Hey everybody, uh, yes I am wearing about the coolest hat ever, so uh, feel free to pick yourself up one of these, they're tractor supply for I think like 10 bucks. Um, but they keep you out of the sun, which is really helpful around here. Uh, I want to show you passion flower. Uh, they are common around here in Tennessee. That's what the flower looks like. It's really kind of crazy and cool looking. Um, but this plant has quite a few medicinal properties. Um, the main being a calming effect. So you can take the leaves and you dry them in a, uh, a dark, a dark semi-cool place. Um, and you can turn them into a tea. It's a pretty, uh, uh, a pretty earthy tasting tea, but it helps with calming anxiety. Uh, it helps you sleep, and uh, it's, it's actually very, very effective um, and helpful for a lot of people. Um, and so you can dry as much of that as you like. Uh, once you get a few plants established, they grow really well, at least in, in certain areas. Um, and then this is a passion fruit, or a passion flower fruit, uh, a relative of the passion fruit. And uh, it's, this is also called a uh, maypop. And those fruits, they have a very sweet, almost slimy inside. So you wait until they turn kind of a yellowish color and get really mushy and uh, a little bit weird. Um, but they have a really great taste, just a, a weird mouthfeel, but a great taste. And I'm sure there's plenty of uses for the fruit as well. But I wanted to give you an idea of this plant and some of its medicinal properties. Definitely worth looking up worth growing if you have around just because it's really pretty and really cool and pretty unique but it's also native and, and has lots of uses so uh, go ahead and do your research on it find some more information um, before maybe the the fruit that I'm giving you but the the leaves the uh, foliage as a tea is a, a pretty impressive uh, anti-anxiety and sleep aid so Go ahead and check it out. It's a great plant.